It's date night in. Now, Ryan and I always have these grand plans to go out on a date, and then it comes to the last minute, and we're like, let's stay home. <laughs> and usually that means pasta is on the menu. I'm Katie Lee, and this is what I'm eating now, Bucatini Amatriciana. Amatriciana is one of my favorite ways to make pasta, but before I do, don't forget to subscribe to Food Network. Let me show you how to make this sauce. It is so easy, but it's also special enough for a date night. So I've got some pancetta in my skillet here, and I've cut it into slices, and I'm just rendering all the fat out of it. And you can see all those brown bits on the bottom. That's where the good stuff is. Gus, is the smell of this pancetta driving you nuts? Sorry, bud, but it's for your dad. So I've got a paper towel on a plate here, and I'm just gonna take this out with a slotted spoon and all that good pancetta fat that's in there, that's what we're gonna use to cook our other ingredients. Now, if you don't have pancetta, this works really well with bacon, and usually we've got bacon in our freezer, so this can be kind of a pantry pull as well. You could make it with penne, spaghetti, whatever you have. So while Katie's cooking the meal, I'm in charge of setting the mood. So here are a couple tips to make the most out of your date night at home. First, we're gonna start with a blanket on the couch. Not only does it help if she gets cold, but I like to refer to my wife as an aggressive eater. If something doesn't end up on her, it's likely to end up on the couch. You can see that fat that I've got left in the pan. To that, I'm gonna add half of a sliced onion, and I'm gonna use a wooden spoon to kind of break up those browned bits. By using the pancetta fat instead of, say, olive oil, I'm just gonna get as much flavor out of the ingredients as possible. All right, now that the onions are starting to soften, I'm gonna add in my garlic and crushed red chili flakes. And I know some of you are probably thinking, that much garlic on a date night? But if you both eat it, you cancel each other out. I mean, we've got the smells of pancetta, onions, and garlic going in the kitchen. If that doesn't scream romance, I don't know what does. And lighting is key. Do not go with scented candles. You don't want to conflict with the wonderful scents coming out of that kitchen. OK, it looks like it's time for the tomatoes to go in. And then just take your wooden spoon and kind of break up the tomatoes. And then a generous amount of salt. And we can't forget the pancetta. This is gonna simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until all those flavors have melded together and the sauce is slightly thickened. While this is doing its thing, I'm just gonna take a walk down memory lane of some of my favorite date nights. Oh, this is probably the most elegant we've ever been in our lives. We were on the Orient Express and had just gotten engaged. Oh, there's my favorite date, Gus. <laughs> He's always our third wheel. Or maybe Ryan's our third wheel, Gus. My sauce is looking good. Now my pasta back here, I'm using bucatini. So bucatini is kind of like a thicker spaghetti and it's hollow in the middle. I used really heavily salted water and I always save about a cup and a half to two cups of the cooking water. So this has some great starch in it that's gonna help thicken up the sauce. I cook the pasta about two minutes less than the box says because I want it to be really al dente and it's gonna finish cooking in the sauce. And just toss it together with the sauce. Now that the pasta is nice and coated, time for some cheese. I'm using Pecorino Romano. It's nice and peppery. All right, it's time to plate this up. And last but not least, look your best. Isn't that right, Gus? Look what we have here. Honey, this looks great. Candles and a blanket. I know. Oh, and you look so handsome. Yeah. So handsome. This is typical. You too, honey. So. <laughs> he picked it out himself. Well, I made your favorite, Bucatini Amatriciana. It looks incredible. So there's onions and garlic and crushed red pepper and pancetta and tomatoes, a little Pecorino Romano. Mm. I love this. Good? It's spicy. Just like me. <laughs> I think we gotta dig a story. Aw, perfect date night at home. Look at this puppy, pasta, Ryan, wine. What more could a girl ask for? Not much. Let me know what your favorite pasta is in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.